Hi, I'm Monica Franzoso, Academic Director at CA Films. When one thinks of history, art, history and culture are what come immediately to mind, and for good reason. Florence and a study abroad destination offers its students dozens of opportunities to learn on a daily basis. And the central location of CA Study Center facilitates regular interaction with the subject matter. Our academic program called Liberal Arts and Italian Culture includes a lengthy list of core courses to choose from in subject areas such as art history, film studies, anthropology, cultural studies, sociology. In their own words, our professors will present to you their courses and what makes them special. I'm teaching the great masters since many, many years, and uh, we focus basically on Leonardo, Michelangelo, and Raphael, those three big uh, people that you know also from the Ninja Turtles. Most of the class will be on site in museums. We walk around a lot, get ready, and uh, I'm so much looking forward to visit all these sites together with you. Photography Florence is a course focused on uh, sharing an idea of photography that is based on uh, uh, narrative. So photography is a way to tell stories, to bear witness of what happens in, in a town that is as old, as culturally rich as, as Florence. That's why um, I will try to accompany the students beyond the postcard that Florence on time has become, in order to let them know more in depth what happens here. Um, I do really believe that, uh, according to a quote by Dorothy Lang, a camera is a tool invented to teach people how to see without a camera. I do believe that we will be able and will become able together to use it. I teach the class of iconography, secret signs and symbols. What does that mean? You learn how to read a piece of art, to identify certain subject matters, you learn about the symbolism of number, the symbolisms of colours, the single symbols like a peacock stands for eternity, a cat for betrayal, a dog for loyalty. You can go anywhere in the world and look at Western art after having taken this course and you understand what you're looking for. Isn't that fun? Come and join us! Florence, the cradle of the Renaissance, but don't be fooled. There is much more to Florence than that. Florence is, yes, art, history, but it's also romance, mystery, violence, day-to-day -day life and human interaction. Through American, British and Italian movies, the course Cinema and the City will take you through the streets of Florence and will help you discover unknown elements and aspects of the city. We will see Florence through the eyes of different directors and different genres, and Florence will never look the same to you again. The Culture for the Wine is a course that focuses on geography and history. History will explain when certain ingredients arrived, whether they were welcome or not, and when they were finally innovated in a recipe. Geography, on the other hand, will explain where certain crops grow and why they have to be considered excellent. We will explore food markets, small shops, local food productions, and just to understand the link between local realities and its food. For simplicity, I'm using the word food, but I mean food and wine. Be curious in my class. I teach a masterpiece of Italian art from the Middle Ages to the 18th century, translated from the 1300s to the 1700s. The most famous pieces of art, paintings, sculptures that are celebrated all over the world. I give an example, Michelangelo's David. Why is that one so famous? There are hundreds of Davids in the world. Why this one? Only because it's so big? Is it really just the size of it? No, it's not. If you want to learn more about it, come over here and study with us. Of course, it's a great opportunity for you guys to explore different topics of Italian culture and society, both inside of the classroom but also outside of the classroom, because besides the regular lectures we have in class, we're going to have several field trips in the city of Florence and right in the vicinity of Florence. So it's very dynamic, very diverse, and it constantly relates to events occurring here in Italy at the time while we're going to be here all together in Florence. Florence is the cradle of the Renaissance art, but it's also the cradle of creativity. Most times, creativity is also based on rivalry and competition. This is why we decided to offer you here a course on uh, uh, artist rivalries 
And uh, this is a course that focuses not only on medicines artists, but will continue until the present days. In this class, we use sport to learn about Italy, its history, its society, and its culture from the fascist era of 100 years ago to the Europe of today. We take a special trip to Siena where we get to go behind the scenes of their famous medieval horse race. And we have some special guests come into class from the world's silliest and most serious soccer team named after the Big Lebowski. You don't have to be a sports fan to have a great time learning about Italy in sport and culture. I hope your interest is fixed. Remember that you can find more information and download our syllabi from our website. Our professors and staff can't wait to welcome you to Florence.